Now is not the time, but it doesn't mean that you want to quit on your dreams. Hi, my name is Devin. Today I own several multi-million dollar companies. We started with $5,000 in a credit card. I don't know the easy way, I only know the hard way. Hey everyone, welcome to the Whiteboard Entrepreneur Podcast, where I give straightforward advice to fuel the entrepreneur in all of us. Today I want to talk to you about how no now does not mean no forever. And first off, welcome to my new office. I'm pretty excited about this. You can see my little sign up there, Whiteboard Entrepreneur. As an entrepreneur, as someone who's pursuing your dreams, you're going to put yourself out there and you're going to find out that sometimes you're not going to you're you're not going to win sometimes you're not going to succeed sometimes the answer is no sometimes you fail and it's very important for us to get comfortable with this and i want to tell you a story that just happened this is like 2 weeks fresh um i went and had coffee with a buddy of mine that i've been mentoring he's a really great young guy and he's around 21 years old And when he was 20, he had this dream of being a police officer. And let me tell you, I think he'd be a great police officer. I I actually wrote him a recommendation. I think he'd be awesome at it. And what happened was he applied to like four different places, made it down the interviewing, you know, made made it, you know, three or four uh, rungs down the ladder. And at the end, just got told, no, you're not going to get the job. And man, it it really crushed him. He was sharing with this, sharing this with me that like, he's like, well, I guess I'm not meant to be a police officer. And I was like, whoa, 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 hold on right now. You're only 21 years old. You applied when you were 20. And he's like, yeah, but it's like two years before I can even apply again. And I was like, man, you're so young. And just because it's no now doesn't mean that it's going to be no forever. It might even be no the next time you apply, but like, this is not a reason to stop pursuing your dreams. And so I said, let's talk about this. If you want to be a police officer, and by the way, I think you'd be really good at it. and, And everyone, all your friends and family think that'd be a perfect career for you. So you have all of these, this, these affirmations and this like, Hey, you know, it's been like, Hey, this is what you ought to do, but you're going to stop on it. Instead of stopping, what is something that we can do today to alter the course so that next time you make it further down the interview chain and maybe the time after that you actually get hired. And so, you know, maybe you're getting hired by the time you're 25, but I'm like, what if we went and, you know, and and joined the Marines and became an MP? And then when you got out, you went and applied as a police officer, because let's be honest, you're super young right now. When you applied, you were 20 years old. You know, like, hey, maybe now is not the time, but it doesn't mean that you want to uh, to quit on your dreams. And I had something like this happen to me once. So when I first started in the business world, I was loving my career, loved my job, loved the people I was working with. I was all fiery and just thought I was going to take over the world. Well, I'm about six months into this job and this announcement came out uh, via inner office email and it said, Hey, you know, there's an, uh, a management position open in New York city. And this was like probably two levels higher than I currently was. And bear in mind, I'd only done my current job for six months. So I was like six months new to the company. Well, I was so excited. I thought this is great. So I immediately did it. I sent it. I sent an email to everybody. Hey, throw my name in the hat. I'd totally do it. I'm excited. I'd love to be part of the interview process. Well, (laughs) about three hours later, my phone rings. I pick it up. It's the vice president of all of Southern California. He calls me up and he's like, Hey Devin, I just want to let you know, there's no way. I mean, I'm not even going to submit your name for that. He's like, you've only been doing the job for six months. And this is like two rungs above you. But I want to tell you, I'm really, really proud of you and happy that you want to apply. But listen, the answer today is no. It's no now, but it doesn't mean it's no forever. And and what was great is that guy had the foresight to not just send me an N-O, but to pick up the phone and call me and talk me through that and explain it. And when I hung up the phone, I was like, okay, great, no problem. Hung up the phone, I was happy as could be because he took the time to explain to me that, hey, listen, now is just not the time. It doesn't mean that you should uh, stop pursuing this dream. He's just like, but but not now, okay? 
And I'm having this, I'm doing this podcast, I'm doing this lesson today for those of you that need to hear that message. Because so many folks are like my friend that I was ha- having coffee with, where they got told no, where basically, you know, big X through your dreams, and that's it. And, you know, obviously the police for the police uh, academy and uh, interviewers can't call them up and say, hey, you didn't get the job because you're too young, right? They just said no, right? And then, and that's what happens in our life is there's so many of these situations where we don't know ultimately the reason behind why we got told no, but most of the time it's not because you can't do it. Most of the time it's what I said. It's no now, not no forever. And I want to encourage you that if you've experienced that in your life, you've gotten a no, you've had a big failure, you've had discouragement. That does not mean it's the end of the story. Evaluate what can I do today to change the outcome later so that it's not no, that it's just no now, not no forever. I'm Devin. This is a whiteboard entrepreneur, and I know this is going to help.